And I remember once I got my phone and I ended up finally getting into the all girls group chat at my school. I am not joking. What I ended up seeing was insane. It even got to the point where they started talking about my eggplant. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name's Bubba and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So this story all takes place back when I was in high school and this was my grade 10 year. Now in grade 10, I was known throughout the school for being a major player. This was nothing new and this was no surprise. But one thing was for sure was that a lot of girls knew about me and would talk about me. But I didn't know how much they were talking about me until one day I remember I was in the school cafeteria sitting with the boys at the corner where we would usually sit and out of nowhere my friend's girlfriend ends up coming into the group and saying oh hey guys like what's going on? We all said hello to her and everything but then she ends up pulling out her phone and she saw something on her phone and ends up looking at me and looking straight down at her phone. Now at this moment I ended up looking at her saying yo is everything okay? Oh yeah everything's fine. I have a question did you go out with this girl last week? And she ended up saying the name of a girl that I actually did go out with last week and I found it weird how she knew about that because I never even brought it up to her. I ended up looking at my friend that she was dating to see if he brought it up but he ended up shaking his head no and I ended up asking her saying wait so like how'd you know about that? Oh it's in the girls group chat. The girls group chat? Wait there's a group chat for the girls? At this point all the guys at the table started getting really curious of what they've been saying about me and we all ended up basically closing in on her until she said oh like I can't tell you guys it's a girls group chat not a girls and guys can see group chat. Don't be dumb. It's nothing crazy anyway. At this moment we all ended up looking at each other wondering why in the world were we not allowed to see what was in this group chat and what were the girls hiding so we started asking questions like oh like how many people are in the group chat and when she said almost every girl in the school at this moment i knew i needed to be in that group chat why because well think about it from the amount that girls speak to each other think about how much gossip and how much knowledge you would know about your school if you got into a girl's group chat with every girl in your school in it like it's so powerful to the point like it doesn't even compare to thanos's gauntlet like it is so op so i remember that day i made it my life's mission to basically try to find a way into that group chat so the first thing i did was i went home that day after school and i went on my computer and made a whole new account to basically get into this group chat obviously the number one rule of this group chat was that only girls were allowed so i made a basic fake account of me being a girl and i made it so that my high school that i went to on my profile said that i was going to the same high school that i went to that way the girls would know like if they look at the account that it's legit because well you know i put a fake name and everything and it all works out but then i realized one problem i'm not a girl so if they wanted proof of me being a girl there was no way for me to give it other than my account so knowing that was a deal breaker i remember the next day when i got to school i was just really annoyed but i still need to find a way to at least get inside the group chat and see if i could sneak my way in without proving that i was a girl so what i decided to do was i walked up to my friend's girlfriend at the time that told us about the group chat and i ended up walking up to her saying hey yo so i have a question if a girl wanted to get inside this group chat how would they get in oh my goodness bubba you're still about this group chat you're not getting in no matter what you're like you're not a girl no i get that but like what if there's a girl in the school that i knew that like wanted to get into the group chat oh well she would have to ask the girl on the cheer team but like i don't know like what girl would not just be invited in like there's already so many of us in it well i'm just curious i'm just asking questions that's all but, but i don't know what you're up to but trust me it's not gonna work and she ended up walking away so at that moment i ended up just walking down the hallway and i basically just started thinking in my mind how in the world would i get inside this group chat how would i prove that i was a woman but then i accidentally bumped into a girl as i was walking down the hallway and this girl she didn't speak any english and she was a foreign exchange student and she looks up at me saying oh very sorry oh it's fine it's fine don't worry about it and i ended up walking away from her but as i was walking away i realized that this girl she didn't even speak english like 100 she wasn't in the group chat so i ended up running back to her and i'm like hey question are you in the girl's group chat Gr group chat i i don't know i'm not in no group chat okay perfect is what i said afterwards because i knew she was the missing piece to my plan at this moment i ended up basically like hanging out with her and getting to get to know her and she was actually a really nice girl that was a foreign exchange student that was really smart actually and she was actually a genuine person so i remember i ended up asking her out on a date and the reason for this wasn't because i was actually interested in her was because well i needed her for my mission which sounds really bad but you know just don't do what i do in these stories trust me you don't want to be me and one thing led to another i actually ended up basically taking a selfie with her and what i did when i got home i ended up cropping me out of the photo that we took together and i used it as my profile picture at this point i knew that the account was finally ready for me to join the group chat but obviously there was still one piece of the puzzle i needed to get through and that was actually asking the girl that owned the group chat the head cheerleader at the time at my high school to basically let me in or let her in i, I don't really know in reality it was letting me in but they don't need to know that but i remember the next day at school i ended up walking up to the foreign exchange student that i ended up hanging out with the day before and i ended up walking up 
up to her saying, hey, so I have a question. I'm working on this science lab with this girl, but she's on the cheer team and she's very busy. Can you go into the change room that she's in right now with the other girls and say group chat? Don't say my name. Don't say anything else. Just say group chat. She ends up looking at me like curious and she's like group chat. And I said, yes. And I ended up handing her my phone, but I changed the phone case on it to be like uh, some pink case that my older sister had. And basically she grabbed my phone. She walked in there. She ended up saying the word group chat. And one thing led to another. She comes back out, hands me the phone and says, okay, here you go. And at that moment, I looked at my phone and i saw that i was actually in the all girls group chat at my high school my mind was blown i was like no way because the amount of dms and the amount of photos and the amount of gossip that was in that group chat is insane like guys if you think our locker room talk is bad imagine an all girls group chat it is a whole different level like you will learn things about girls that you never wanted to learn and also needed to learn like it's insane at this moment i'm just scrolling through this group chat and i'm using it as my secret weapon it got to the point where even throughout the school day when i saw an update happen on the group chat like for example there was a girl in our school that recently got dumped and she literally said in the group chat oh like i really wish i had a guy come and hug me right now like i'm just so heartbroken i ended up walking up to that exact girl and said hey like you seem down do you want a hug and her eyes opened wide and i gave her a hug like bro it was the ultimate weapon it got to the point where i'm not gonna lie i had to be careful how much i used this group chat to my advantage because i didn't want to make it obvious that i was the one in it. But basically any gossip that went throughout the school, I knew about it. And the only other people I told were basically my two close friends that were part of the boys. The boys found it insane that I was in the group chat, but obviously I want to use this for the power of good and pulling women. So I remember that same day, I ended up basically walking with the homies and I ended up basically telling them like what girls like what, what's the tea behind this girl, why you shouldn't be with that girl. Like it was like I was the professor X of my high school. Like I just knew everything, but I'm not going to lie. The way I ended up getting caught was really, really bad because because I remember I was basically one night on my phone and I was just snapping some girls that were in the group chat. I didn't snap as like a girl. I snapped as myself and started messaging like random girls on my own account. And I started basically using like good gestures and stuff. But then I remember that night exactly as well. I ended up seeing some girl in the group chat that I was rising up earlier say, hey guys, I'm just curious. Do you guys wonder like how Bubba is actually like making us all happy for once and not just using us? And then another girl ended up saying, oh yeah, like I started to realize that too. Something tells me like some girl's snitching yeah who's snitching in here and it basically became to a point where they were actually suspicious of me no i didn't say anything in the group chat because obviously like i wasn't actually that girl and this girl that i was supposed to be in the group chat didn't actually speak english so i tried to basically not say anything but the next day at school is where things got insane because i remember i was on my phone basically scrolling through the group chat and the head cheerleader ends up walking up to me and she literally looks at me saying baba we need to talk uh okay sure what what do, what do you want to talk about no just just follow me. I remember she ends up taking me to the girl's change room and I didn't want to go inside, but she ended up grabbing me by my wrist, pulling me inside. And she says to me, Bubba, give me your phone right now. Oh, uh, why, why do you want my phone? No, give me your phone right now. I know what you're doing, Bubba. You're not smart. You're not slick. She ends up grabbing my phone and basically she ended up going on the account and she realized that I was in the group chat. And she said to me, Bubba, you know how illegal this is? It's not illegal to join a group chat is what I told her. And well, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I basically exposed myself and I was was hated on for the rest of the school year. But hey, I mean, it was a good thing because I ended up getting expelled from that school anyway from a different story. So if you guys want that, comment down below. But what would you guys do if you knew there was an all girls group chat? You're telling me that you wouldn't try to get in? Because if you would, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.